Hey everybody, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today, we got a new CZ shotgun to show y'all, as you can see by this lovely cardboard box here. This is the CZ, let's read the end of it here, 612 Magnum Waterfowl Pump Max 4 Camo 12 gauge. This will take the 3.5 inch shells, 28 inch barrel. Well, I have not opened this up, put it together or anything, so let's dig right in and see what CZ has to offer and this new shotgun. Alright, get the box open here. If the box will open right. Okay, first off we have a package with some screws in it. This was open. Get this out. I assume that's our choke tubes. Yep. Got a box of choke tubes in there. There's the key. Unsure what them are. It comes with four tubes. So there's some screws for something. I'm sure we'll find out later. Now, nothing in here. I assume the barrel's right in here. Go ahead and get this bad boy out. Put it together and check it out. Get over there. Owner's manual. Do not throw away. Place during transportation. Now, did y'all read that? Alright, how do we get our barrel out of here? Assume we take that piece of foam out. All of this will lift right up. Bam! Just like magical, we have a barrel. It's a wicked camo on that thing, ain't it? Check that out. Love that fiber optic front sight. That is cool. That is awesome. It functions. It functions. Hey, it functions. Y'all get a really, really good look at this thing. So you get all your different chokes you can put in it. There's that awesome front sight, great looking camo, love the bridge barrel, and it is a pump style. Yeah, this thing is camoed out. A pretty good uh, butt pad right there. Yeah, no doubt. Safety's here. And you see this little lever here. That way if you, oh, I don't want to shoot. You just push that lever, bring it down again and eject your shell or whatever it is that you want to do. Not bad, not bad at all. And like I say, this thing is very versatile. Um, it shows here in the instructions everything about it. Um, always read the instructions guys and go through them. They'll tell you how to break it down and change your chokes what all the chokes are for. It's showing a five here, which is four in there and one's in the gun. So it's got a cylinder, a skeet, an improved cylinder, a modified, improved modified, and full choke. And you'll see the notches on them. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Like I say, this thing will hold the uh, three and a half inch shells. And I'm assuming it'll hold pretty much any shell that you throw in it, but it will at least hold up to the three and a halves. Uh, I don't have any three and a halves. What we're going to do, I've got some two and three quarters, just a mix a lot that we're going to try this thing out with. I'm sure that we got it together, and it's just a good basic pump shotgun. Well, probably better than a good basic pump shotgun. It is a CZ. So, let's take it outside to the range. Throw some modern in ammo through it 
and just see how it functions, uh, how the aim is, and how it feels, trigger pull, and such as that. Alright guys, made it out to the range with their awesome ZZ pump. Get you a better look out here in the daylight, but I mean, it's really overcast today. Uh, it's not that great. And what I'm going to do, like I say, run some just various shells through it. Uh, I've got a box here with a bunch of mixed stuff in it. And I've got some Federal Power Shot Magnum Buckshot. This ought to be... Uh, pretty wicked to sling through her as well. Uh, and these are three inch shells. There's a power going on there. What I've got here, of course i got a shaving cream. Got to have a shaving cream. But I've got some of the uh, orange targets, the clays. i got two here. And this stuff here is, uh, well the shaving cream's at 10 yards. These here are a little closer, probably 8 or 9 yards. Then out there at 20, I've got one just right above the orange silhouette there. And we'll see how good we can hit him. That'll tell us how good the sights are or how good I am shooting with these sights. But let's grab a some of this uh, miscellaneous ammo over here first. I've got just some of this low brass stuff here. Here we go, just some basic. These are some double-A trap loads. These are just some basic number sixes. There's one. And I'm putting these in alternately so we can see how they shoot. Alright, she holds two. Y'all remember this is a hunting shotgun, so. That's why I don't stick. Safety's on. This way we can get uh, three of them in there. Let's grab some ears. We don't need to go deaf, that's for sure. Let's just see what we think about this bad boy. Let's start here with these uh, orange clays. yard one. Oh. oh yeah. Done well, done well. Got there to the 20 yard one. Oh yeah, done well. I was really happy with that. Chamber's good. Trigger's great. Uh, well, shotgun feels good. That pad's absorbing pretty well. So now let's, uh... You know, I don't even know about half of the stuff I've got here. Federal duck and pheasant number six. And some high brass. And this is a Remington 12 gauge. Some type of high brass, all of it's done wore off. But let's uh, run a couple of these to it. See how it likes this high brass. Yeah, it chambers them just fine, no problem. Did not like that green one. This is going to set over here out of the way. Y'all see it did put a primer strike on it. Like I say, these are old shells, guys. So, enough of that. But it's running pretty much everything we put through it. Like I say, that green one, that's some old shell. They've just been bad. Let's grab some of these power shops and uh, see what we think about these. Like I say, these are the 3 inch uh, Magnum Buckshot. 
I'm sure that my shoulder's not going to like it. But we're going to see uh, just how this shaving cream likes things. There we go. Try this out. right now. Them got some kick to them. Well, all in all, not a bad little old shotgun. I mean, it shoots well. It's a great trigger on that thing. That red sight up front, yes we are clear, that red sight up front just really jumps out at you when you throw it up there. You can get a good quick sight on that thing. Of course you got all your adjustable chokes and everything. So this shotgun has a lot going for it. Like I say, she'll shoot pretty much anything you want to cram in it. No problem whatsoever. It says right here on the barrel, two and three quarter, three inch, and three and a half. And I uh, wish I did ask three and a half. My brain wishes I had three and a half. My shoulder says no, no, no. But all in all, I like this old shotgun. So she was cruising right along. It give us no problems. I think we had a bad shell right there. That was the issue with that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let y'all get another look at that. It's a CZ612 Magnum Waterfowl. Yeah, I got a really, really nice camo finish on that thing. Yeah, this thing was done up really, really well. And I do like that front sight. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the CZ pump shotgun there. 95% uh, of me enjoyed it. 5% didn't like them uh, Federal uh, Magnum buckshots. Yeah, had a little bit of thump to it. But the shotgun held it well, and it hit where I was aiming. That's all that matters. Well, everyone, if you would, throw us down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon and or Super Thanks very much appreciated and please like share and subscribe again appreciate it much till the next one i hope that everyone has a fantastic day